Good luck. Good luck, man. <laughs> Race nine, six. Seven. Seven. Yeah. I'll be waiting for you to come past. Well, I didn't know. I, I'm just going to, I think I've got Billy then Sam in front, so I'm just going to do whatever they do. <laughs> okay then, guys, here we go. Finals time. Straight into the A final, baby. We, uh, we had a good enough heats that we got seventh on the grid for the A final. Super happy with that. Straight in, we're guaranteed a top 10 finish, unless we get some silly penalties. Um, gonna be a great result either way. Thumbs up for Leo there, and, uh, and we'll see what we can do. Cleaning off the tires, getting everything ready. Look, we're try-harding now. We're in with the big boys, just big time. Up in the top 10. This is where we uh, we get found out if we're a fraud or not. But um, no, we're feeling pretty good. It's been a good day's karting. We've, we've raced well. We've been decisive. We've taken our positions when we needed to, um, other than the one mistake early in the day. But yeah, here we go. We're going to roll round into seventh place. All the guys looking behind to find when the uh, when the grid is complete. We're just going to look forward and <laughs> wait for that green light. And there it is. Where we go, slow start, slow start, we bog down a little bit and then uh, we're gonna have to dive up from the inside. We're gonna, oh no, oh, we, we break later, but uh, end up sliding out a bit from the contact. That's okay, we're in the train. We're not leaving the train again. We learned that lesson a few rounds back, so we'll stay inside so that nobody can dive us and we don't get pushed out. We're gonna have a look up the inside. Oh, I don't quite get the, the drive Ben Churchill there in front of us. And then we get the Constantino effect coming down the hill. There's uh, the guys behind uh, end up in the back of you, that's inevitable, no no harm there. We're just going to get our head down now. The race seems to be starting to settle down. We've got the, the train, there's a little bit of a gap building in front, but uh, everybody's pretty close. So we're just going to stay on the back of Ben Churchill up here. And he's going to go defensive, which gives us a chance to catch right up to him. It's probably a bad idea because he's losing time to the guys in front. He's concentrating on me more than the guys in front, and they're battling quite a bit. Look, two or three wides coming around there. Ben Chick ending up in the wall. Can we make advantage of that? Not quite. I feel like uh, Ben Ahead wasn't uh, decisive enough, but he forces Ben Chick out wide, and we end up in front of Ben Chick, and Seb's, uh, Seb's going to get us there. He was nice to us there. Seb, he left us plenty of space. And we see there's one right behind Seb, so what we're going to do is we're just going to force our way across back in behind Seb. We knew we were losing a place, but we didn't want to lose two, so just got the elbows out and uh, slide straight back into that, uh, that spot behind Seb. So now we're going to stick on the back of Seb. Obviously we know Seb's fast, so we're going to, going to see if he can uh, punch us away through up ahead and, uh, and maybe earn us a place or two and see how we go. Getting that top corner nice. We're feeling good at this point. We're, we're in amongst it. Um, ben Chick's behind us, he's very fast. So, uh, so we're conscious of that. Gonna try and keep him behind. Ben Chick, oh, Ryan's ended up in no man's land here. He's, he's dropping back. Ben Chick's just putting wide. Seb's through, and we're just gonna follow Seb through. Sorry, Ryan. Um, Ryan's much faster than me, and uh, he wanted to star in some of the videos. So there's your, there's your starring moment, Ryan. Uh, um, unfortunately, it's a star moment of me uh, me driving past. I'm afraid, but once once in a lifetime, that I think we'll uh, we'll put that down to uh, him getting uh, he got put in the wall earlier in the in the heat uh, in the race, and um, yeah, just as I said in the previous video, once that train once you're out of that train, as you saw, Seb goes through, I go through. It's, uh, it's almost inevitable and Seb's all over Ben Churchill in front so we're going to try and use that to our advantage get ahead down now, Seb's through there and uh, yeah we, we were going to try and stay close enough to follow him through but we couldn't quite unfortunately here we go, how are we doing? yeah nice drive out of the hairpin I was getting that hairpin nice on uh, on this round sometimes a corner struggle, like, get the human DRS out again look we're, we're really trying here and then Ben goes wide and uh, trying to go round Seb and we just go, oh, thank you very much. And then unfortunately, I think down the hill, we had the move done already and down the hill, we just kind of, uh, we didn't give him space. You see the marshal, he's leaning down for the black and white flag there. We, uh, we know it's coming. And as we come round the chicane here, there it is. We put a hand up, acknowledge it. And um, yeah, sorry to Ben there. I, I should have I had the position. I should have just drifted to the right and obviously I'm trying to come back but we keep the keep the position again I should have just come to the right and uh, and stayed giving him space and there's the chequered flag so we crossed the line 6th on the road an amazing result 
unfortunately that uh, squeezing Ben into the wall did get us a black and white which is a and there we, there's uh well, what are you two doing there Sam Slater and uh, Neil Durant what's uh what's going on there in the wall um I think they were trying to fist bump and got themselves confused and ended up stuck in the wall nice um, and uh, yeah I apology, apologies to Ben there because uh, I did push him into the wall and I think the penalty was well deserved I wasn't sure at the time but watching it back it was definitely uh, I definitely should have given him space it's maybe harsh but I should have given him space I had the inside line coming down into that right hander anyway so all I needed to do was just stay on that inside line break a bit later and just stay ahead and uh, and take the sixth place and okay guys so we'll just have a look at some standing so here we've got 41st to 21st and um, it was pretty pretty good result for everybody around me in the championship so none of the names from around me obviously Ethan there who uh, who came first in our heat four was uh, 25th overall so that just shows how well he did in that uh, that heat to get that that first place and um, yeah we'll jump straight into the top standings first to 20th and we will look all the way up we'll see I am there in eighth place 41 points so I got two place uh, finish penalty for the black and white flag for uh, squeezing Ben Churchill into the wall um, but yeah so eighth place overall on the day and you can see one place in front of Ryan Taylor, despite being much slower than him, a full three tenths of a second slower than him on our fastest laps. Um, but I'm happy with the fast lap, 25.86. I'm not terribly off the pace, um, kind of three tenths off Sam Slater at the front, so happy with that. And um, yeah, so Sam won the uh, the round, Neil second with the pole position um, bonus point, Leo. Amazing effort, ending up in uh, in third on the podium. Then we had Seb in fourth. Great drive from Seb because he came from behind me on the grid, as we saw. Uh, and then uh, I think Billy ended up with a penalty. He was third on the road on the road, but he got a penalty, so he ended up fifth. And then Ben Chick and Ben Churchill taking advantage of my penalty, and then uh, unfortunately Ryan, as I said, getting then getting put in the wall and ended up ninth. And then Aiden, who I believe was the guy in the red suit that nearly overtook me in the first corner, he got the fastest lap of the day 25.4 so uh, great effort there and um, yeah that's gonna be it for this one guys we um, no it's not we need to check the overall standings of the championship so we'll do that now and um, yeah here we go after four rounds I am now in ninth place so obviously I said oh we'll look at my rivals each time and we picked out Sebastiano, uh, Bensi and Shane Lucas as those two rivals and as you can see here by the lack of any numbers in their uh, round four boxes neither of them turned up today so I'm going to take that as a, as a beat in both of them right that's, that's how it works um, so yeah we've, we've crept up to ninth in the uh, in the championship we're hoping that 21 from round three is going to fall off as one of our dropped scores and hopefully the 30 of round one as well we're hoping for at least 40 in every round really we need a need a need a 40 in every round to to get a decent finishing position but we're inside the top 10 so that gives us um, some better grid positions um, in terms of our starting positions in future rounds so yeah that's that's working out really well so far happy with very happy with today's performance sixth on the road really shows me that i can compete with some of those faster drivers um i'm definitely not on anywhere near their level yet but i'm, I'm getting in and involved and um hopefully next round we can uh, we can be straight in the a final as well and um, thank you very much for watching guys we are going to end the video here because I've not got much more to say about it um, so yeah do all the usual like subscribe all the good stuff thank you to everybody um, at the track all the other drivers they're all being amazing lots of uh, lots of wonderful feedback ask me when I'm gonna actually put the videos up um, this one has taken me a little while so uh, yeah gonna be a good blast of, uh, of footage coming up over this weekend because um, I've just raced round five today so yeah we're a whole month behind on this one but I uh, just raced round five today and that one's sure to make an interesting video because it absolutely hammered it down and so you're gonna see me race in the wet for the first time ever and see if I can keep it pointing forwards but um, I had a load of fun 
got really wet. <laughs> um, it was brilliant, but yeah, we'll uh, we won't spoil that one at all yet. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching again, guys. Really appreciate it. Appreciate all the comments and likes on on here and on uh, on Facebook as well. Really helps expand the channel and everything. So yeah, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next one.